James Harris claimed his second five-wicket haul of the season as Glamorgan dominated the opening day of the LV County Championship match at Lords against Middlesex. Neil Dexter won the toss and batted on a greenish pitch and under cloudy skies and Harris made the most of it all as he trapped Andrew Strauss in front as his first championship innings of the summer ended after he'd scored eight. Chris Rogers had moved down to number three to accommodate the England captain and he struck the first boundary of the match. But the next ball from Harris was something of a peach and Rogers could do little but nick it through to Mark Wallace. The Australian had made six. Ten overs in and Middlesex were on 24 for two. And to the first ball of the 11th over, Scott Newman was another to go, caught at the wicket off the bowling of the excellent Harris. And when David Milan drove an edge Graham wag to a diving Michael Powell, the home side were in a spot of bother on 33 for four. So what a moment for Jamie Dalrymple to come in for his first championship start since returning to Lords following his much-publicised fallout with Glamorgan, the team he captained for the past two seasons. Middlesex had gone to lunch on 74 for four with Dalrymple and Dexter fashioning something of a recovery and the Middlesex skipper looked to take control of the game at the start of the afternoon session. With him and Dalrymple together, Middlesex posted three figures. They had taken the total along to 105 when Harris was brought back into the attack and had Dexter on 26 held at slip by Powell. Middlesex have had a wonderful start to the LV County Championship summer and would have probably won all of their matches had it not been for some rain in Bristol. This was the first time that they'd really struggled all season, but Dalrymple and John Simpson were trying hard to turn things around. The former Glamorgan captain would have dreamt of making a 50 against his former colleagues, but on 44, he nicked Wag to William Bragg to go at 123 for six. Eight runs later, they were seven down at the exceptional Harris, showing that if you pitched the ball up and wobbled it about a bit, then wickets would come. This leg before decision gave him his fifth, a perfect response to being left out of the England Lions team. Middlesex desperately needed runs in their lower order and in Gareth Berg, they had someone who could dig them out of this situation. But a lack of calling led to his downfall after he'd made 11. In the end, either batsman could have been run out but it was Berg who went at 145 for eight. The last two wickets fell in successive balls once Middlesex had brought up their 150. Tim Murta, the other man involved in that run out, gave Wallace a catch down the leg side to go for 10. And Corey Collimore went next ball, trapped bang in front to Will Owen. Middlesex were all out for 150, with Harris claiming five for 41, the sixth five wicket haul of the 21 year old's career. Indeed, he'd celebrated his 21st birthday earlier this week and he already has 23 first-class wickets to his name this season. Middlesex needed to respond quickly with the ball, but neither Murta nor Collymore could make the early impact as Harris had done for Glamorgan. And both Gareth Rees and Elviro Peterson, the man who took over from Dalrymple as captain of the Welshman, got their innings off to a solid start. Peterson won't have been too pleased with the mode of his dismissal. Having comfortably made 29, he tried to hit Toby Rowland-Jones into next week and sky the ball to Milan to end a first wicket stand of 49. But that was to be Middlesex's only success as Glamorgan ended the day just as they'd begun it, strongly. Rees and Bragg batted with composure and skill, leaving the ball as well as they hit the bad one. Before the end of the day, they put on the best partnership of the day and had even taken their side into the lead. Not even Dalrymple could prevent that. Bragg overtook Reese and was first to his 50, made from 85 balls with seven fours. This clean sweep brought him his seventh boundary. Reese had been more watchful, but could also celebrate his half century before the end. His had come from 119 deliveries, this rare streaky stroke, bringing him his eighth four. The two had added 102 by the end of the day, a day dominated by the visitors, who were probably happy to have lost the toss. They will resume with a lead of one, with Bragg on 57 and Reese on 55, and they will hope to bat only once in this match from this position.